Hello lamp fans. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at Wix Model B specifically. So on the early Model Bs, uh, they had a, a flush um, clip with the uh, that the Wick riser would would run in uh, would grab into, so it would just locate in these holes. Uh, works really well, but you can't buy these anymore. The new ones they sell, um, they have more of a hat hat shape to the clips. Now I think I've already modified this one. I've actually uh, pushed them in a little bit. It, it's they still clip in nice, uh, but what I do is before I install them, I pretty much put it on the vise here uh, on a seven eighths wood dowel. Um, I have an air chuck uh, from my air tool, just a spare one. And what I do is I just put it over the the hole or over the like the circular button, and I just give it a little tap. It doesn't take a whole lot. You don't want to um, squish it completely because then uh, it it may not engage properly. But if you do that before you install them, uh, you won't have any binding issues whatsoever. So that's a common problem. So since the new ones, they push the this the wick razor out further and it binds inside the outer wick tube and it causes problems. Uh, so that makes your knob basically hard to turn. This one here, I've already performed it on it and it works like, you know, it's, it has really smooth action. So um, some people um grind these off fold them in they take needle nose they bend them in that does uh, have the same kind of effect as you can see they're it's hard to really see get focused but you can bend those in with a pair of needle nose as well too a lot of people just grab the needle nose and just give them a little bend in so that that's a good fix as well too but um the whole idea is that you don't want this thing scratching up and down inside your outer wick tube um so it's easier to use any, anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you have any ideas, uh, just post them down below. Anyway, have yourselves a great day.